what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a video circulating on social media of some old clips of black men giving their take on racism in America. Now, the thing is, all of these black men are widely successful. And they're talking about how they feel about racism. It starts off with a clip of Don Lemon of CNN talking to actor Morgan Freeman. He asks him, he says, do you think that race plays a part in wealth distribution and the mindset? He was about to say that you can't do something because of your race or whatever. And Morgan Freeman cut him off. And he was like, you mean today? He said, yeah. He said, no, no. You and I, we're proof. Let me explain something to you, family. When you put hugely successful celebrities in front of a camera and tell them to talk about race, typically you're going to get a regurgitated white supremacist talking point from them. That's what's gonna happen because most of them are compromised. There are very, very, very few black people in this country, in America, who don't scratch where they don't itch, don't dance on cue, don't say hi hi when somebody says jump. There are very few who can walk away from the bag or who is willing to walk away from the bag. That's, that's even better to say. That's a better way to say it. Who are willing to walk away from the bag. Many of these people don't care nothing about the fans who support them, who live in marginalized communities and who are going through it who got to still deal with it because they're insulated. Their money insulates them from the struggle. So they don't have to deal with the police walking up on them because they're walking to the grocery store or getting out of their car, going into their house in their community, which is not necessarily a, I guess, pristine community or a community of privilege. They get to hide behind their money, their security, their gates, their walls, their armored vehicles in some cases, their private jets. So most of them are not dealing with even going through the process of being checked by TSA agents. When you're dealing with, you know, just going through the, through the airport because there's levels of discrimination there. So they're not dealing with this stuff on a day to day. And when that is, look, people go out of their way to treat celebrities well. A police officer sees you and recognize who you are, bam, immediately, they're gonna show love. And if they don't recognize who you are, you just yell it out real fast. I'm such, 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 oh, you know? They start looking it up, oh, okay. And then they just get nicer, immediately. Because they know that that's probably a fight they're not going to win if they violate you. They're not going to win. Goes back to my original point. 
that I've made time and time again in regards to police officers and the crimes that they commit while wearing the uniform. They only do what they do because they're not being held accountable. If they know they're going to be held accountable for messing with a particular person or group or whatever, they won't do it because they're not trying to get fired. They're not trying to lose those pensions. They're not trying to end up in jail. The same a reason that many of us you know, don't violate the law kicks in for them when they start thinking about violating certain people. So these dudes' experiences are not relative to the average person. So they can't relate and they're looking out for self. Lil Wayne fixed his mouth to say that he don't believe racism uh, exists because he's never experienced it. These are his words. He said, he, he said he's never experienced racism before. And since then, this is an old video. So th since then, I've heard him walk those statements back a little bit, walk that statement back a little, because he said that he was on his private jet and his pilot told him to go sit down. And his pilot called the police on him when he landed. The, po the police approached him and, you know, gave him a, a, a talk. Like, this is the dude that's paying the pilot. He's hiring the pilot and the pilot. Can you imagine something like that? Now, you know that don't happen. You know that don't happen with white folks. You just know that doesn't happen. So, but he still haven't made a statement saying, yes, racism exists. You know, he acknowledged that, you know, well, sometimes I have problems, you know, but he still wouldn't flat out just proclaim that, yeah, it does exist. These people that are highly successful that are black, Lil Wayne, Morgan Freeman, some of your state representatives, even local officials who are black, much of their constituency is white. The people who stroke the checks are white. So they enjoy that money. They enjoy that privilege. They enjoy that access. And if, and, and you're so far down to them they don't even see you. They don't even see your struggle, what you're going through. It's like, uh, can't see you, can't relate. Kind of like, what was her name? Mam uh, Mamie Tillman, I believe. Uh, Emmett Till's, Mamie Till, Emmett Till's mother. When she was living in Chicago and Emmett was murdered, viciously by a white mob and they just totally destroyed this boy's body. Kid, teenager. She said before that happened, before that day, she was looking at what was going on in the South and she was said, that's them, that's their problems. This is a black woman saying that's them, that's their problems. She's saying this back in the 60s. But until it happened to her son, she didn't have any empathy. All of a sudden she became an activist. She, when she went in, it woke her up. So this is how some of these dudes, they, it's, they got to be handled. And I'm gonna tell you, Morgan Freeman, I know his ass no. He too old not to know. He's too old not to have experienced racism. And so with him, he's either flat out lying or he's in denial. Either way, he's a clown. And this is not something I would just say off the cuff about somebody that's as accomplished as Morgan Freeman. I don't want to say stuff like that about my elders. 
But if I recognize an elder or even a baby to be an enemy of ours, I'm going in. An enemy is an enemy to me. It doesn't matter. So Morgan Freeman, he can get it too. Anybody can get it. Anybody that's trying to hold us back can get it. Now, we already know that the usual suspects, the gangbangers and the killers and thugs and all that, we know they can get it in the hood. They get it too, all day long. But let's not overlook these people that has money, that has access, that has these options, that has a large fan base, big house, nice cars, long money. See, some black people hear you attack people like that and they get offended. I mean, why are you messing with the black man? Why are you talking about the brother? Why are you coming down on the brother? Every brother ain't a brother. All skin folk ain't kin folk. Understand that. An enemy is an enemy. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.